What can I do for you? I want to build a house. These are some of the vacant sites that you have. You see, if you lend me the money and let me use a the site, then I could have that built for me and my kids. I'm really sorry. I can't help you with this. We can't go on like this. Just keep telling yourself, it's temporary. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Late three times and you got your kids here. John, please, we need this job. What are we doing, Sandra? Do you think this is good for the girls? I'm saying it, counsellor. We could try and make it work. I want to fix him, you know? I know. But there are some people you just can't. I have designed a house that costs just 35,000 euros to build. Sandra, why didn't you ask me? Your mother was far more than a cleaner to me. She was a friend. It's land going to waste. Use it. Build a house for you and your girls. All along the highway, there's a tiny <laughs> Our own house. At the bottom of the garden. Like a fairy house. <laughs> <laughs> Need a hand for a few weekends over the summer if you'd want to help. This time I know <laughs> I'm fighting. <laughs> Sandra! Oh my god! Parties work. Are you going to see her dad? She's not herself. She wants to stay with me. You're lucky to me, Sandra. Skelly, you've been served. Breach of access. I'm sorry, love, but legally he has a right to go to court. What is the point of a house if I have no kids to put in it? Most of us get so sunk in our own pain, we don't notice our children's. But you did, and that makes you a good mother. You all know what he did to me. And yet you still bring me in here and you ask me questions like, why didn't you leave him? But you never ask, why didn't he stop? 